Hey boardies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon, and today I'm bringing a setup plan review of the game Framework by Uwe Rosenberg, Edition Spielweiss, and Pegasus Spieler. Now, this is being recorded July the 17th. I've been actually playing this game since March the 17th. You may have seen my unboxing video. So why on earth is it taking so long? For well, numerous reasons, I was really keen to play this as a four because it's a one to four player game. I'll be giving a solo playthrough and review on that separately. It comes in these various task counters. You just need one for your particular color. So if you're playing as a four, you're gonna have a, a pack each. So they contain 22 discs and I leave some separate discs out for a reason. You're gonna be drawing tiles from the bag. They might have three frames around them. They might have two. They might have one frame. They might have zero frames. Equally, you might have different kinds of tasks. You can have a task, which means once you've got six frames surrounding it, so for example, that would be one. Once you have six surrounding it of either in this instance, of the brown type, these wooden ones, or the red brick type, then you're gonna place one of your tokens on there. You've also got other type of uh, tasks that you can be doing, such as this one. This one means once you have four of these brick ones adjacent to it, it has to be orthogonal, you cannot have it diagonal, then again, you can claim it, so you can do something like that. This one requires five of the silver types, so here's a silver one, so it has to be right next to it there, and over here, you need six of the green. So what else do you have here? Well, other ones whereby you must have six of these green kind of leafy ones first. If you then do it, you can also then ensure that you've got one red brick around it. Then you're gonna get one of them here. So that will not score unless it was touching it and you've already got six snaking off that way. Over here is a total of four of either the brick or the metal kind of silvery gray color. And over here, we've got a combination of red or green and we've seen this one before. So you can do them in any order you like. So that's the different kinds of things you have. So let me just chuck them back in the bag and show you how it starts. So you can decide who wants to go first. It makes no difference whatsoever. And I've even tried playing it. I've actually never won this game. I've actually played it numerous times. I've lost every single time. So I'm a, for some reason not good at it. But if it's three of you, or if they say, let's say it's two of you, you're drawing equal amount to the play account plus one. So right now, let's say I start, I'm gonna be picking one of these tiles. Remember, I was a two, we'll have two picks. I'll probably wanna pick these two because they work together. Let's say I pick this one. Now, they might know I want this one, so they might take it, but let's assume they don't. Then I take this one and place it here. And then we go on to the next round, so this time they're play picking first. So again, they're drawing three tiles. They're picking first. They're looking for these brown ones, so wooden ones, let's call it. They're placing one there. Let's say I place one here because metal goes on here. And now they're gonna take that and let's just say they stick it over there. Let's have it all orientating it. So let's go through another few more rounds until we start placing out some of these tokens because as soon as you place them all out, you will win the game. Now, sometimes not every tile will get placed. So far I've always seen they've always got placed. But ultimately, if your entire bag of 88 go, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna see who's got the fewest counters left and then that person's the winner. So now let's keep on going until I've actually created some things. So uh, let's say it's my turn to pick one of these. Well, let's just focus on trying to complete the task. So let's say I've taken that. Uh, let's say I've taken that one. They've taken that, so let's just chuck it there. I'm now gonna take this one. Uh, well, they, they're gonna pick first. But let's just say I can go here. And let's say I don't want any of these other ones. I've got some more bricks going over here. And yeah, this is my 27th, maybe my 28th Uwe Rosenberg game. And here we go. Here's an example of me now having five things out. Why is five important? Well, as you'll notice, uh, once I move these out of the way, once I've got five, I've got one, two, three, four, five. That goes there. I now probably want to get a sixth one next to this one because I can now get claim this one as well. So let's just quickly uh, see if I can grab one and see if it's possible. Uh, I haven't, I never tile counted these. You're not tending to go for that because remember you are drafting them each round. So right now I've got six. Now, what do I think of the game? Well, it's very interesting. I'll talk about the components first. Lovely cloth bag, huge bag where it's easy to grab all the tiles out from. Nice tiles as well, nice size. There's a little task uh, sheet that tells you how things work. So by all means, you can pause and look at this if you want to. Basically telling you you can do them in any order you like. There's different types. But the main reason for this is for the solo playthrough, which I'll talk about separately. Ultimately, you're placing a tile on there if you want to not use it straight away. And there's space for two, and that's it. 
So what else do I think about the game? Well, it's very crunchy. That first, uh, you know, tile you're picking is, okay, fine, I'll put it there. All right, yeah, it has to go next to it, so it goes next to it. And then you place another tile, and suddenly these scoring tiles are actually working against you because suddenly they're blocking you from actually playing the other frames around it. So you might want to have a row of these lovely uh, grey tiles, but suddenly if you've got something like, well, even this one, You've got this red one over here, which doesn't even work for it. But imagine you've got some brown tiles over here. Suddenly, if you want to have these greens as well, well, you've got this wall of grey, which are not going to help you score. So it's a very interesting mix to the game. You can play it with new players, and you'd play with four fewer for them. So they're playing with 18, not a four combo of 22. They are cylindrical, which is fine, and it's easy to pick up. But if they were round, as they are, they end up rolling, or they can roll a little bit. So they generally are fine. But obviously, if they have cubes, I think cubes would be better. I know people going against cubes and want to go for cylinders because it's a bit more fun. Obviously, a bit of some wastage as well for, them for cubes. Also, uh, when you do play with a new player and they only play with 18 compared to 22, I generally think that's a perfect number because playing with new players, even if you've only played it once, you generally have enough of a gist of the game that you may well win. I mean, I still lost playing as a three, but at least I did come, I think, second. So the person won, obviously, had zero discs left. I had one disc left, and the person who started the four fewer, I think, also had one left. They technically would have had maybe four left. So it was very close. As soon as someone does complete all their tasks, the game does end. If you want to see other videos by Uwe Rosenberg, check out my playlist for Uwe Rosenberg. Also check out my playlist for Pegasus Spieler. Also had a setup plan review. This is obviously an abstract strategy game as well. And it's very similar to Nova Luna. So Nova Luna, I did talk about, I think, in the unboxing teaser trailer video. Please check out my also my playlist for that, so it tells you what's coming to the channel soon. And in that, I do uh, obviously can see the similarities. What do I think? I do prefer this one. Uh, this one is one I've played more of. I think it's uh, not worrying about this that, that circular motion to it. The fact that it starts off so, uh, I guess, inoffensive, having these tiles, and these tiles just, oh, you place a thing out, and it's so quick to set up. You literally just whip out three tiles, grab a bag, and that's it. That's how quick you're playing the game. In terms of teaching the game, hopefully that was pretty quick to teach. You literally are picking a tile and placing another tile next to it, trying to score what it is. So you're going to have various tasks. Like I said, you are going to have a task, which is going to be something like this, which happens to be both. So a task of trying to get three green, and suddenly I'm trying to place, obviously, three of the green frames around it. Like I said, it has an interesting like Dominion-like feel whereby you're trying to pivot between trying to get tasks and switching to trying to get the frames for those tasks, or do you go for the frames first and then try and get the respective task themselves? Remember, though, it's a drafting game, and you will often find people are looking and seeing that suddenly you've got a big wall of yellow. There's not a lot of analysis paralysis whilst you're looking to decide over someone else's one, but it is something to be aware of. So, like I said, please check out my solo playthrough. I really look forward to bringing you that. Some of my solo playthroughs have been very interesting and in the kind of things I've drawn. So look forward to seeing how that goes. But this has been Framework. I hope you enjoy this. Please let me know in the comments. Also support the channel via Patreon, via the description. Follow on Instagram, over 2,400 posts. And via Facebook, you can also follow on there. So please do like. And thank you very much for watching once again. And back to the table.